everybody walking to the miles way where we live life every day our way thank y'all for vibing out with us tonight we're gonna continue with our story all right continue with our story oh standing our ground the aftermath of coming out now we're on a part three of it standing our ground now this is after graduation. And I remind you, just to remind everybody, both of us went back home. So she, I'm staying with my grandma. She back staying with her mama. And during this time, after we graduated, we still seeing each other. Um, did you think it kind of calmed down some? Oh, um, for my end, it did. Right, um, my end too. It was just basically everybody was, you know, ignoring her knowing each other right that type of thing but it wasn't too much said after that i guess we had went through everything and i guess it wasn't changing nothing but um and we were still together so i guess it was just like mm -hmm. um, it was being brushed off i guess in a sense um, i guess i just say out of mind i don't say yeah i don't say out of mind mind you we're still, I think, were we still going back um, my sister and I every weekend? No. I don't think so. I don't think so. No, no, we wasn't. It wasn't. Mm -hmm. So we we'll just see each other. When we meet see up each and meet other. up and meet yeah, up and meet that up. type of thing. I don't think so. No. Yeah. So at the graduation, Hurricane Katrina came. Um, you know, both of our families evacuated. They went to Texas. We wound up in um, Mississippi. So, let me see, Katrina hit in August. So, it was like November we came back together? Yeah, it was November. Cause you came for me for my birthday. I came for you for your birthday. It was like two weeks before Thanksgiving because you wound up, you were there for Thanksgiving. I forgot on me in in Texas with me. You forgot on me that big old Thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it was soon like that. Like it wasn't like next year. No. It was still like oh five. Yeah. Remember you had quit school. I quit my job. Had to walk quit job. Quit my job. Walmart. Quit school. She was ready to come home. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my two garbage black bags. Huh? So, two garbage bags. basically, after Katrina hit, my family went to Texas. Um, we all stayed in this big old house. I ain't gonna lie. Like, that was like the best living. <laughs> we all stayed in this big old house. We were fortunate and grateful for people help. But... Um, they started giving out like um, apartments in that area. So everybody got their own apartment because we didn't know what was gonna happen. So September, they opened up New Orleans. Mind you, I stayed on the West Bank. My whole family basically stayed on the West Bank. So nothing really was wrong with their houses. They were able to go back and live. I'ma honestly say Katrina was a blessing for me and Shayna. The best thing that could have happened. It though. was like, okay, after graduation, I had signed up for college, they got to college, and I'm like, okay, what's next? We were gonna be working to get our apartment, to get on our own, but it probably so would motion. have took us right. longer than what Katrina did. Katrina did. Katrina was, was like basically <laughs> a blessing for us. The best thing that could have happened, even though I still on the on the east, you know, we lost everything. Everything was gone. We had to start all the way over. So basically, I was in Texas. I got me a job at Walmart. Um, all my family started going back home as the private, like the end of September. Like they started going back home. So everybody that had the apartment was either. They kept it, or they was just like, well, they're not worrying about it. So my auntie left, and I was like, man, I had to got me a job. I'm like, man, I'm gonna stay because this is about to be. I can't beat this. Look, paying fifty dollar rent. Look, 
Y'all just graduating high school paying fifty dollar rent. I could not beat that. I'm like, look, I'm about to stay in orange. This is the best opportunity I done had. Call Shayna up. Look, look, all we doing is a not. <laughs> Basically, Shayna was like, yeah, baby, I'm on board. Like, bam. But she was in college too, and she was working. So she didn't want to leave right then and there. It took her a little time the next month, y'all. Then she wind up coming out there in Texas. So basically, when I tell y'all it was a blessing, it was a blessing. I was able to furnish our whole apartment. Bedroom set, living room set, everything we needed. And we just started now with furniture, right. everything. Like I, I was, was able to, to do it all with the help of her. Cause she was still getting a little check, you know, a little on the corner. It's my first job, you know, it's my first gig yeah, from yeah. Louisiana and all that. So you know, we was making it do what he was doing. Um, we stayed in Orange what two, two, two months? Uh, no. Two months. Shayna couldn't find a job basically, you know. Nope. Orange no. is just small little. You blink, you miss it. It's two X's. You blink, you miss it. <laughs> it's right at the border. Uh, New Orleans and Texas. Literally, y'all, you blink, you miss it. It's two X's. Shayna couldn't find a job. Or should I say she wasn't looking for one? No, I was looking. <laughs> Shayna wasn't. Shayna couldn't find a job. So, Shayna was like, man, we gotta move to a big city. We gotta move to a big city. So, Shayna was like, let's go to, um, I don't know if I wanna see it. <laughs> Shayna was like, let's go to this big city. Let's go see what this big city is doing in, in Texas. Or whatever. So we went out there and got a blessing. Got another blessing here. <laughs> and this time, FEMA was paying for housing. So we went out there, got another blessing. Rent free. Rent free. We get out there. Now, mind y'all, I, I transferred my job from Walmart. Get out there and can't even get on that Walmart. <laughs> but I was able to get. But me a she kid. was able to get on. Uh -huh. So now I'm working at. So now right she's now. working in. I'm looking for a job. Mm -hmm. Same situation I was in. So we done that about what? Two months. Two months till I finally found the job at Walmart. Somebody finally hired me at another Walmart. So what do you want to pick up at there? Hmm? What do you want to pick up now? What, for my transition from yeah. Mississippi? Um, yeah. Well, um, when I left Mississippi, I'm like, man, I told my government, I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, I'm gone. But Rob and Nick, like that. Government tried to talk to me out. I'd be like, don't go. You already got a job. You're in school. Just stay here. I'm like, man, I'm out of here. So I packed my stuff, caught that ride with my uncle. He was on his way to the city, back to work. Rob and Nick drove down there. Came to the city and scooped me up and we went back to Texas the next day, well, the same night, the next day. Yeah, man, I came with my little two ties. She said, little two trash bags, two little black trash bags. Yeah, <laughs> man, I, she took me in. Yeah, me. <laughs> stop it. Stop it. She took me in. What did she say? You come down here, that girl living all alone here. <laughs> you know, she was my shit about <laughs> Ain't gonna come down here, like, living there with you. Like, I was just, just. So, basically, she didn't know Shayna was there. I guess she heard through the grapevine. Somebody told her. I don't know who told her. I can't tell you. One of your cousins. One of your cousins. One of my cousins. <laughs> told her. Basically, one of your cousins. she found out that Shayna was staying out there. And she tried to make my auntie take her appointment back because she didn't want Shayna to, to, to stay out there. Mm -hmm. So, basically. Us moving to Texas, here's where we have to stay in our stay in that ground. Right. It was more for me a respect thing. Like I felt like there was just it was just no respect on my relationship. You know what I mean? It was just no respect, period. For what we was trying to build and what we was trying to get up and running. It like they were just downplaying just our relationship, you know what I mean? Right. So basically we had to we had to separate, you know what I'm saying? We had to dip out till they got their mind right. We had to leave everything, left everybody. And we just did our own thing. And it was like that for about what? Two? About, a, about a year, about a year and a half. A year and a half, about two years, right? We, yeah. We just, On my end, it wasn't too many people that I had to leave behind. It was just basically, 
my mama really. Like my mama didn't want to see Shayna around at all. It and was, my grandma was like, "Well, no, because you came, you came to Mississippi and chill with me. We ain't getting no overtime now." No, I didn't. I didn't. But it wasn't like it's cool. It wasn't it was, like welcoming. It was uncomfortable. It was very yeah. uncomfortable. <laughs> it was uncomfortable. Um, it was, yeah, it was uncomfortable. Basically, we had to stand our ground. Basically, um, my mama ain't want Shayna to be there with me, and basically, it was at I was at my wit ends with it, and I was like, you know, basically, it is what it is. Like, I'm with Shayna. Right. You like it, right. you don't. Right. Who don't? Right. I don't care. You don't have to care, because at this point, we taking care of ourselves. Right, like, we both you know we're grown. grown. Right, that too. Right, like either you want me around or you don't, basically. Right. So that was like my foot down. Like I didn't talk to my mama like for like a good year and something. It was. Right. It was close to Christmas. My uncle called my phone and he was like, "Niece, I love you." And we're having Christmas at my house. You're welcome to come. And Shana's welcome to come also. Um, I haven't saw you in a long time. I know some things is going on with you and your mama. I, like I said, I wasn't going around with Oh, I haven't saw my family in over a year in probably six months. Like, if Shana can't come, I ain't coming. So a lot of them was like, you know... They weren't, they weren't how my mama was, but I guess because my mama was their sister and mm -hmm. niece and all of that, whatever she wanted, and that's what they sided with, her. Right. So if we had a function at the house or whatever, I guess she'll make it know, oh, Robin, you can come, but that girl can't come. Same thing on my end. So right. it was just like, okay, if Shana can't come, I'm not coming. So point blank, period. Like, we're together. Like, at some point, y'all have to get over it. Mm -hmm. And if you don't get over it, that's your business. And we'll catch up with y'all when that time comes. So when my uncle called me, he was like, I want you to come down. You know, I'm having Christmas at my house. This is my house. And you and Shana is welcome. Did we even make it? No. We didn't make it. We wanted to make, not make it. It due to job and... Being wrong, <laughs> having having to pay bills, <laughs> having to pay bills. Um, I can't even remember. I think after my uncle calling me and saying Shana's welcome, made me feel more relaxed to say, okay, well, when when we do go down, hey, we gonna go wherever they went it, and by this time. My mom and her, her ex is not together. So it just kind of like smooth right it on in. Yeah. Oh. It was it was like kind of like wait, was it? No. No. Yeah, no. I knew. no. So I still wasn't going around my mama, really. Because her and her ex was still together. Her and her ex was still together. But we did go by my people for Christmas though. We went by uh, my auntie. Yeah, you're what you said. Your auntie, not your grandma. But my grandma was deaf. But that wasn't our house. So. Yeah, I so. guess that they called us down and said we was having Christmas by them. So we took that ride down there to the, um, well, not to the city, but, you know, to Louisiana close by. Yeah. Yeah. And we spent spent um, a few days there. We spent a few days there. Yeah. But as time went on, it eventually. It came around. It came around. It, I, was, it was it was a, to the point where I, I guess they were like they took us serious. They're like, oh, they serious, serious. You know what I mean? Like, like, like get your mind right. Like, us for like, like a yeah, we disappeared. Half. Like, you yeah. I guess he registered. Like, well, I don't want to lose him at all. Type thing. So if I gotta put up with it, then that's what I do. Type thing. So it just I ain't gonna say they accepted it. They just. Dealt with they, yeah, yeah. They dealt with it. They, dealt they basically with. dealt with it. They, they dealt with me and they dealt they, with they, yeah. yeah. So basically, I guess everybody kept their feelings to themselves. Self, right. The input, like that wasn't the even because I ain't want to hear that no more neither. You know what I'm saying? The gay thing, none of that. I don't want to. I ain't want to hear none of that no more. 
So that was there too. Whatever they felt or whatever they thought, they just kept it among themselves. They didn't have a verbal see to take me out her. You know what I mean? So um so that's basically how everything kinda together. It kinda just died itself out. Whatever conversation they had, they had among themselves. It wasn't just bringing us into it more because I figured they figured, uh I guess they figured that we just gonna let it play itself out. You think they thought we was gonna be last this long, babe? Like, you know? Um, they probably didn't think we was gonna last this long. I think they really came around when we actually moved from Texas back to New Orleans. And the only reason that came about because Rob and he didn't want to move. My little niece was born. Right. And I just didn't want my little niece growing up and I know who I was. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to establish that, that relationship, that foundation with her. You know what I'm saying? So once that happened, like I missed the burden. I already had missed, what, like six, three, four months? I'm like, man, we going back. Like my little niece going to grow up and she ain't going to know who I, I mean, am. We just up, dropped everything. Packed, like dropped everything. Packed everything in the storage. Like it wasn't no... We broke the lease, like, but by this time, we were parents. Like, by this time, time we FEMA was done. Parents. Like, we, we was, was actually on our own, like, bills, like, rents, four, five hundred dollars, what, six hundred dollars, whatever it was. We was actually paying bills at this time. Like, FEMA was done. I had, what, Walmart? We was working at Walmart. And, and Target. Target. Like, oh, y'all, let me tell you. Oh, the hustle kicked in by now, y'all. The hustle kicked in, y'all. <laughs> Shana was a pure yeah, hustler. Yeah, the hustle kicked in like, now. She was a pure hustler. I was but, <laughs> yeah, it was. worked that talking for what? Two days, three days. Yeah, I worked. I was working Walmart in a day shift and, and talking, talking overnight. Night. Night. And one her. day I went to like I got off of Walmart and paid. <laughs> Wake me up about an hour, or thirty minutes. You came home on your break for talking. That's on your lunch or something like that. And I ain't go back. And you ain't go back. <laughs> I kept waking up. I'm like, Shanna, get up. Shanna, get up. Shanna, get up. I kept telling her, Shanna, you didn't even need that extra job because it's like. When you gonna so find sleep. time to sleep? Mm -hmm. Like now, listening to me, Shannon went got her another job. Won't be Mrs. No No. <laughs> like when you gonna have time to sleep? So Shana came home on our lunch one day. So I'm gonna wake me up in thirty minutes so I can go back. I woke up. Shana ain't never woke up, y'all. Shana kept saying, mm -hmm. "Shana ain't never." And <laughs> <laughs> never even went like her third day. I'm like, okay. Now you finally see, okay, you can't work no two jobs. But basically, we moved back to New Orleans. When we moved back to New Orleans, spared a moment because she wanted to yeah. build a relationship with her little niece. And it's like, what? four months. Two and a half, three years later. Two and a half, three and a half years. Yeah. We yeah. really wasn't in really contact with our family yeah, at, at all. all. Yeah, at all. At all. all. It was really on our own. So it really, really changed when we moved back to New Orleans. Um, Shana moved back with her grandparents, and I moved back with my mom. And at this point, we couldn't stay together still. Right, yeah. we still couldn't stay together still yeah. because they were still in that state. Yeah. Not my my mama wasn't with her ex no more. No, she when wasn't. We moved, when we moved back. back. No, they wasn't. Yeah, when when we moved back, my mama that wasn't. Was yeah. yeah, it was done. So basically, she was coming around a little more, but it wasn't as if it is now. Right. But um, I moved back with my mom. Shayna moved back with her grandparents. And basically, we let that work out for what? About a month you or two. That? Nah, longer than that because I ain't start working on the ferry till like October. Right, it was like, oh, like, like a while. Like maybe like, like six months we stayed in that situation. Like five, like it four, seem four like to six months. Long. Because, like, we came down, was it? Maybe it a, didn't seem like it was. Maybe that like long. two months. Maybe two months. Yeah. Maybe two months. Yeah, before we got back out on the like spot. It maybe it was like right. two months. Because, like, we was used to waking up, waking up together, like yeah. living together, you know? We, we were living together. Yeah, we were living together on the pub and everything. So, I think we did like two, two, two or three months. Two, three months. Because I had to wait for me to get a job. When she came back, she went. I don't know why Walmart was tripping. Like she went straight into, I went Walmart. Straight into Walmart. That was giving me problems. I couldn't even get a gig. Like they was, I'm still in the system. This, that, that. So it was an issue on my end. But I'm glad it did that anyway because I went to the ferry. So that was more money anyway. So I was good on. And it. I didn't even stay at Walmart long after that. I stayed no. at Walmart about two weeks and then I got a job at Direct TV yeah. working with her sister. So, yeah, Lucy got you. Yeah. So it was. 
I wasn't even at Walmart that long. Mm -hmm. So basically, we're in New Orleans. We're living in separate lives <laughs> after being together for almost two and a half years. Three years. Three mm -hmm. years in the same apartment. We're living separate lives because we spread them all. Well, no, it's longer than that because we went, we stayed in. We still had moved to Houston and stayed there for like three years. Two years. Yeah, well, about yeah, three so years. But we stayed three. in Orange. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, about three about three years. Right. And it's a couple of That is the sacrifice you got to make, though, to, to get to where you want to be. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to sacrifice. It's like this way to build, like, the foundation. I didn't want to leave you guys, but I <laughs> went ahead and just, okay, we going to move to... So you can have a relationship with your little niece. Mm -hmm. I didn't and want that was the to best decision move. we could have made. It was too, the best because I'm, it put us in in position to come out to here come back. and, and, and right. come out here right. Because when we was out here, we was basically like low bottom, like feeding up little you know minuscule well, we jobs and everything. It wasn't no higher job, paying right. jobs. You know what I'm saying? But we moved back to the city, and it was booming. Right, then the money was there. So we got in position for where we is now. You know right. what I'm saying? They set us up for this moment. So it worked out perfect. I, I won't take none of that back. Me either. I won't take none of that back. So basically, we're back in New Orleans. We're in New Orleans. And now you come to the point where people are just, they just, they just, how can you say it? What you trying to say? Um. Basically, they're adapting to our situation, should I say. They're adapting yeah, to adapt our situation. They're not putting up They're putting up with it, basically. Well, to, to be honest, it wasn't really that many people. It was just your mama, my grandma, and everybody just not want to be on their bad side. Right. So they just gone with the flu. Just gone with the flu. <laughs> you know what I mean? That, that's basically what it was. But um, And I think after, I really think after my mama left her ex, it's like... She was came out of that spell that she really like she was in. Like she wasn't so guarded anymore. Like she wasn't to the point that she's at now, but she wasn't as guarded like with it. But eventually, you know, Shayna living where she was, I was living where I was. Like they was seeing each other. Right, right. Basically. Right, right, right. They were seeing each other. So I would go by her. I right think that's what it house. was too like my, my grandma didn't know you. Your mama didn't know me. It's like they really never took that time to get to know us because they was already stuck in their, you know, in their mind frame of what they was going to lie, what they wasn't going to lie. You know what I mean? But I don't know. But um, So basically, some kind of way, I guess when time went on, I was able to go by her grandparents' house. Shannon was able to go to my mom's house. But even when we were staying in Texas, like, we still came down to visit. But you never really came. You never really came to my mom's house. You went to my people's house, true. but not my mom. Yeah, true. Yeah. Like, true. my problem was only my mom. So, you never really went to my mom. You you always go by my auntie's house, my uh -huh. uncle's house. So, <laughs> that was fine on my end. So, so basically... After that, um, Shayna getting a job at working on the ferry. Working on the ferry, I mm -hmm. wound up leaving Direct TV. When I went from Direct TV, I went to AT and T for a little while. Mm -hmm. Did about a month. month or I two. done it about a about a month or something. You did the state test, and then you went one nine one one, and then went on one nine one one. But before I done all of that, a lot of confusion went on in between that, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> right, when we moved out, the when we came to the city, we got our own spot. My sister, you know, was still with my grandma, so we we're like, man, look, she just had my little niece. I'm like, man, we could go ahead and we could do this together. You heard me get a two bedroom. You heard me got one side. I got the, we, we got the other side, and we could do it like that. You know what I'm saying? And when you go ahead and get out on your own, we all, you know, we basically just splitting the rent like that type of thing. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, baby, we could really share. I'm looking at the money. It's like, man, we could, you know, have, like, we, we good. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, like, I'm, you know, I'm plotting on that end, but we'll never live. We'll never make that mistake again. That just don't work out at all, man. <laughs> Even though I love my sister today now, <laughs> it was just a 
a lot went on, you guys. A, a lot. lot. A lot she was went plotting. on. We was on another level. And she was on some else, you heard me? A whole nother thing. We didn't know nothing about until two days later. And we saw somebody else there. <laughs> moved, not, not there. Not there. Moved there was moved there. You heard me? So she already had this in her mind and she ain't even let us know what the, what the case right. was. Right. So that was bad blood. Basically, somebody else was moved in and we ain't know nothing about it. If we would have known somebody was going to be moved in, we would have had our own spot from, spot from the beginning. Most because definitely. it caused so many conflicts. Yep. Uh, we didn't even last a year. No, we didn't. We didn't even it last caused so many conflicts in that whole atmosphere because of irresponsible parties. <laughs> That's what I'm just going to call it. Irresponsible parties on, on, on a couple of people in. Um... It got to the point real, real bad that <laughs> me and my sister-in-law got into a fist fight. A fist fight. It was that bad, you guys. It was that bad. It was just all around bad. Not just me and her getting into a fist fight. Her and her <laughs> sister getting into a fist fight. Her and a lot of people getting involved which shouldn't have never got involved from the beginning. It was just it was a lot, you guys. It was a mess. It was a mess. Totally uncalled. It was too. uncalled for because I don't even know what started it. Oh, I know what started it on my end. My sister-in-law called the police. She called the police and was real, real petty, y'all. And if anybody know me, I'm right. petty, petty, petty. Petty, petty, because... I came home, I'm working, like I said, we both working, that's a hard job. She ain't a dog come. tired, you know? Yes, like it's wee morning, <laughs> I think, like we just went to sleep, like I it's just like came two, home. Three o'clock in the morning. Not only did she call the police, she waited until my little sister came over there for the weekend. That was my problem. She, my little sister was there for the, for the weekend, and she called the police while my little sister was there. That was so embarrassing. And that the police come in, like the police are right in the park, they knocking on our room door. Like, we like, what the hell can I do? <laughs> Bro, it was just so crazy. I, I mean, she went to that level of being petty because when it, when we got the apartment, I didn't want to put my name on anything. Shayna and her, no, you wasn't even on these kind of things. Yeah, man, I was. No, you wasn't because you had to go the next day and do it. Remember the next week or something. She was on the lease, basically. Mm -hmm. She didn't mind if you stayed. That was the problem. She didn't care if you stayed. Oh, she just wanted you gone. She just wanted me gone. Man, gun. and I still don't even know how that happened. The police wasn't here. Nothing that was, like, I'm really just, we really stayed. Hey, all that down finding dandy, that was, like, that was, like, the most pettiest. And when I tell y'all, I am very petty. And when I know when somebody's petty with me, I'm going to be right along petty with you. I'm going to be petty. And not just petty. I was pissed, you guys. I mm -hmm. was pissed. Like, you wait till I'm asleep. My sister here, yeah, I was pissed, you guys. I was, I was real, real pissed. Not only that, the next day, I said, you know what? Me and my little sister left. Me and my little sister left. I went by my mama house. I said, you know what? Her cell phone is in Shana name. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Her cell phone is in Shayna's name. You want to be petty? Yeah. I can be petty right along with you. I ain't give a damn what Shayna was talking about. Shayna out about some don't turn the phone off. Okay, I'm going to show you. I know your social, your birthday, your everything. It's getting cut off. Cut it off. <laughs> I was right along petty too. And from that led into a whole nother altercation. For as me and her having a fist fight in the middle of the street. So that's why we ended it. <laughs> that's why we ended it. Well, you keep going. Oh. You so, <laughs> <laughs> so basically, we time. had a physical altercation between me and her. When me and her got, a, got into a physical altercation, her brother, rest in peace, found his way some kind of way in it. He was being petty from the beginning. He was being messy. He went and got that girl from her lunch on her job. Well, you know, he had a couple. He, yeah, but he, he was being petty. Mm -hmm. He, I guess, I guess he thought whatever I said 
not in front of her, I couldn't say it in front of her. But if anybody know me, whatever I say once, I can say it twice. I can say it a million and one time. So don't ever think, if I say it something once, and you call yourself trying to check me, I'm going to tell you exactly what I said. Because I can back whatever I say up. I'm going to be petty too. I can be petty, y'all. Oh, get back to the story. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> get back to the story. So, basically, we got into a physical altercation. From there, what happened? Um, then y'all got into a physical altercation that same day. She got mad at me because I was, she she got, was wrong. She, like, she got <laughs> mad at Shayna. I don't even know why she got but mad at me. But I said, I, I wasn't trying to let y'all fight, though. But I, you, you were out kept trying to, you know, dispute. I didn't situation. want to fight her. I didn't want to fight her. fight her. No, 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 yeah, no, no, yeah, 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 yeah. You wanted to fight. You were, you I had did not. Yeah, she did. I probably did, but you I didn't want to do that. I you kept did. telling your sister, go ahead. And my government was like, go ahead. <laughs> I kept telling your sister, go ahead. I did not, not want to do that. I did not want to do that and disrespect her grandparents like that. You did. I did not. So you think, so you, that's what you're saying? I came over there for that? Yeah, but you oh, not understand. Girl, you need to stop. No, you need to stop. You can't have, what that on your mind? Two fight. I did. You did. I did. You did. I did. You did. I did. So basically, after you all did. that happened, y'all, after all that happened, what else happened? Oh, after all that happened, Shayna wound up going to put her name on the lease. And we I said still no. We stayed there a little longer. We asked that to have finished our lease. Once that lease was over, we we move into our own apartment. We move into a whole another spot. No, but we still stayed there about a good month or two after. So the lease was over with. So yeah. basically, y'all, we stayed. Shayna won't put her name she on that lease. Yeah. Shayna won't put on her name on that lease, and she couldn't say nothing. But all between My name that, was already on the lease. The lease your name wasn't already you. on the lease. You had to go the next week and put your name on the lease. The next week, what, when we first moved in there? I mean, no, the, the next day you had to go and put your name on the lease. Your name wasn't on the lease at first. Basically, we stayed there together about another month or two until we actually got our own place. But in between that time, it was a lot of Yeah, we should have just moved into our own conflict. spot again. From the beginning, bro. It was a whole bunch of lot of stuff. It was a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, do it involved. Yeah, it yeah. It was. Oh, it was too time. much. Too yeah. much. Too much going on. Totally uncalled for. So then we what? Moved into our own place. Yeah. Yeah. So we moved into our own place. Our own spot. Same apartment. Just Same apartment. Building. Just different yeah. building. Different apartment. You know, keep going or what? What you want to? I'm not mad. Thank you, Yana. No, go ahead. What's next? Um, no, I got a question. Because I want to know this. I just thought about this now since we're talking about this, bringing up all this old stuff. Like, when we moved back to the city, we stayed in the east, but your people were still on the West Bank. Why you, why you ain't go by your people? I wasn't going by my people. No, you wasn't. The majority of the time, I was working. Like, I was working. By the time you get home, you, me and you together. Once we together, ain't no more time. Yeah, yeah, I'm by your people though. I was going by my people. No, you wasn't. Okay. You said okay. I was going by my people. You no, tripping. it wasn't. You tripping. Okay. You said okay. I was going by my people. No, it wasn't. Okay, there was a young question. Mm-hmm, because you oh. wasn't going. Okay, finish this story there. What's the reason we started? We in our own apartment now. Where to buy? We in our own apartment now. Oh, we in our own apartment, you guys. Um, basically, we're gonna go ahead on and fast forward. We're gonna fast forward. Oh, we ain't gonna fast forward. We're gonna go back a little bit because we're in our own apartment, but this is right at the high school, right at the Katrina. What's up, y'all? So, from the previous. What was it? Uh, the aftermath of coming out aftermath, the switch up. So we're going to get back to that because as we've been talking about it, like it just triggered some stuff. Like it put me back at that, you know, back in that time frame, you know what I'm saying? Back in that loop. And then some other stuff, you know, service and some other thoughts came that I ain't really get out of my chest the last time. 
Now that I thought about it and let it ponder a little bit and just, you know, let it saute and marinate a little bit. Um, and I want to say, um, it wasn't just my grandma, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that switched up. You know what I'm saying? Me and my sister, we was never close growing up. You know what I'm saying? It was, you know, I had a better relationship with my brother. You know what I'm saying? We was always, you know, bumping haze. I guess, I don't know if it was just like, us just being different and not interested in the same type of stuff that... I ain't gonna say that was the, that was the case because that wasn't just the case either. But um, with my big sister, she, yeah, she did some down bad stuff. You hear me? When, during that time, like when you know what I'm saying, like she was acting bad with that temple. You know what I'm saying? With the, with that little cup, she yeah, was acting down. Yeah, yeah, that little rusty, dusty. You hear me? Yeah, she was acting bad with that little 1988. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> she was acting bad though, for real though. Like, was. Oh, I'm sorry, Lane disclosure. Y'all know her name already, though. But <laughs> Lucy was holding and down then, y'all. Back then with her husband, yeah. Uh -huh. She yeah. had a husband that was in the, the, in church. the, the church. She yeah, was a drama. So she ain't want to condone was, stuff, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, so she was holding and down then. Yeah, yeah. She so, ain't want to condone certain stuff. Well, then I cannot tell my oh, story. Well, I'm uh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> what I was saying, um... <laughs> So back to the switch up though, cause it was a few times where, well I really can't say, cause like, and it's crazy to me that through, even through that time, like she still held my secret. Not like I can't wrap my head around that. Like why? Like, you know what I'm saying? Cause, cause it wasn't no interesting secret like that. I, it wasn't. Just, what I'm just saying, like who's just comes out and say, well, Robin ain't getting shame to bet on LL. <laughs> she ain't been back at all this time. Like, uh, ooh, I guess. Like, but anyway, back to my school. Back to my story uh, with, the, with the switch out. So, like, it was time for, like I said, I was standing on the West Bank. While I was standing in the East, and Robin Eagle was standing on the West Bank. She lived on it. Was like, she had her own little spot on the West Bank. We said that, what, one time? Mm -hmm. She had her own little spot on the West Bank. And she worked on the West Bank. So, I'm dropping, like, I'm busting it, you know what I'm saying? Ferrying it, you know, whatever, whatever, to get to. But she worked, like, she worked at the mall. Wow, when these sister in love stayed in Gretna, as y'all know, like, that's right there. Like, that's literally, like, probably, like, five minutes, wow. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right there. So, um, anyway, back to my story. One time, she, ain't gonna lie, she gave me a ride over the river to her job, but she didn't bring me by Robinie, which was, like, an extra five or seven minutes, you know what I'm saying? She pulled up at her job, and, like, I'm thinking she was playing. I'm like, man, you really ain't go. Nah, I ain't playing. You need to get on the bus type thing. I'm like, Lord, she's serious. So, I, you know, she set her keys down. I swiped them. So, you hear me? Let her just continue. You know, she was getting herself ready. I picked them up, ducked them up in my pocket, and just stood there and see if she was going to figure it out. She didn't. So, I waited till she went inside like I was walking to the bus stop. Double back. Jumped in that tempo. Because she had a tempo, you guys. <laughs> Jumped in that little rusted, dusted thing, you hear me? Skew up, skew up, I'm out the, the parking lot. Now, I ain't not a driver, mind you. Man, I'm gonna tell you, I'm hitting big stupid ass turns, you hear me? I don't know how the police, no, I don't know how I ain't bang nothing. Oh, I don't know what the hell, but I got in the five or seven minutes I made it to, I don't even know, I don't even think I was able to park in the parking lot. I ain't I had to come down. <laughs> like, I really didn't know how to drive, you hear me? But I, I got that dude. I was probably doing about 10, 15, yeah, but I, I, I ease it on around. <laughs> I got that. So, um, we chilled out like she didn't get out to like five, so bam. Robin, he drove us back there. Now, mind you, she off from work. She get off from work. She got easy. Man, you work know work. this chick did not bring us back. Like, by her sister, like, she made us catch the bus. Yeah, I mean, we had to get on the bus to get back. But, oh, did we walk? Think, I don't remember if we walked up off the bus. Yeah, because it was still a tight time. You know, we were trying to save dollars and stuff. No, we caught a cab. I think we caught a cab. Nah, we ain't catch no cab. We either walk or we caught the bus. We ain't catch no cab. I don't cab. remember. It was so long ago. It, it wasn't no I no thought cab. we caught the bus. We caught the bus. Yeah, it wasn't we no bus. cab at that time. Bus. But that just to let you know, like, you know, the switch up. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I, I had, like, when I thought about it, I'm like, man, like, that really happened, man. I forgot about that. But at the same time, though, I still don't know why she really, you know, kept that secret or whatever. You know what I mean? But that's just part of the switch up. Now, what we're talking about? The switch up. Oh, no, I, I did that over there. That was all I wanted to say. You were down bad, bitches. You were down bad.
That's all you want to do? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's they're popping on your head? Yeah, because I had thought about it. Like, yeah. Because even at that end, though, like, even with the, you know, when she, you know, like the little sit down with her past in them, the, when she was like the, the deaconess of the church. She was a something. treasurer. <laughs> she was a treasurer, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she did that thing. Um, and even when we moved to Houston, you know what I'm saying? She was, she came out there too. Remember, she was out there before we was out there, I think, with a female partner, her and her husband. Yeah, her husband was out there. And then they split up. Then she had to come stay with us. So that happened too for a little while before she went ahead and took back home, back to the city. But yeah, she came and stayed with us for a little while. It was only what, a one bedroom? This one FEMA was still paying out, right? Yeah. 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 But um anyway, I just had to go back a little bit and rewind a little bit. I had thought about that later on. That's everything? You said everything? Because I, I thought you had a whole bunch in your head that you had to get out and never did one thing you kept pondering it. Yeah, because I just remember, that, you know, she did me dirty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But thank y'all for tuning in to the Miles Way. Um, that concludes Standing Our Ground, Story Time. The aftermath of coming out. Uh, coming out aftermath, Standing Our Ground. Everyone says it's the same <laughs> thing, you know? Vice versa. On you. Y'all keep in mind that I'm still going through this little pain on my teeth. Um, I'm going to be doing a little cooking, but not too much. But I will be back very soon. <laughs> and we coming back with a bang. Yeah, dude. So I'm coming back. Man, y'all tell me some, what y'all would like me to, to, to cook. Like, I'm running out of ideas, really, y'all. But it ain't like, no idea, man. We about to get healthy. Like, well, yeah, man, I saw our wedding, vo our wedding video. I said, damn, oh, it was a huge, bro. Like, <laughs> like love it. And we blowing right back up, y'all. She just started just feeding you right man, back up. I had lost a lot of each other. Yeah, we do. I guess I got to go back to New Mexico, uh, yeah, so before they get back small. <laughs> I'm about to go back on my keto's diet. Yeah, we about to get back. I got to shake back, man. She and just put on back I'm up. I'm about to start cooking healthy, so y'all might not even want to see that. So I'm trying to put y'all in some good, good meals. Well, if y'all into the healthy thing, let us know. We could just, you know, we could rock with it that way. Cause um, that's what it about to be. Cause like I said, I need to um, I need to drive me some pounds. You know what I mean? I gotta shake back. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell, hit that notification so you can see when we drop some videos or any other content. You could be the first to know. Anyway, man, thank y'all for vibing out with us tonight. Sad tonight. Had to come and just. It's the shoe another video or part two because that was just on my head you know i thought about that and i forgot about that it's just crazy how we talking about this and no now it's really bringing back emotions and feelings that she really not feelings you know what i'm saying that i thought yeah like, i thought that i kind of forgot about like it's crazy like i guess it's been so long but it ain't been so long because it felt like it was yesterday like that pain and that hurt stood up you know what i'm saying that that's another thing like I like I don't care how we is not like how we able to come come together and just like I I can't forget you remember what it was in the beginning you, you know that's gonna always be that like you know what I'm saying like you judge me off the dome and you know what I'm saying that, that wasn't even the case like that wasn't even me like you made me have to be a bad person and truthfully and honestly I was never a bad person you know what I'm saying I really like how you say that because Cause I just you know I just love your daughter you know what I'm saying that that's just what it was and she just loved me so. And that's another thing, but like as and, we continue this story, no, because it's got this reflecting back, like it's like I say, emotions and feelings, but like, like my people penalize me for for being how they raised me, like to to stand my ground, to be proud, never be ashamed, like that's what you instilled in me, and yet you penalize me for for being that person from and from you know from for me accepting who I was. You basically wanted to, you know, to break me and tear me down. You know what I'm saying? And that one was really crazy to me, cause like this is what you instilled in me. Like this is how you raised me to be strong. Like you know what I'm saying? This is this is what you do. You, you you know what I'm saying? You you do taught me that. You know what I'm saying? So 
I don't see how the, the tables kind of switch. I, I ain't understand. I still understand it, but. I still don't understand a lot of things, y'all. But, I ain't in this, my feeling is Shane is about it, because, um, it's like, I always tell Shayna, family be the first one to hurt you. Most well, definitely. That's so, my first heartbreak. Like, my grandma, she broke my heart. When I no lie. Like, so, it's just that, I'm not looking for family to to her, but I like family be the first person, first people to hurt you. So it's already if it happens in my head, I was already expecting it. But I Shana wasn't expecting it because of my situation, my background, is how I was raised. Like family is the reason, you know. Like family, like my my mama died when I was young, so. My family is the reason, like, they held it down for me. It's the only reason when I was able to, you know, like, they, 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 you know, they took on that role. They stood up. They, you know, they, they made room for us. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I just, even when I came out, I just wasn't expecting the situation to go down like it did. And just knowing who I was and how I dressed. And we wasn't no feminine, nin, no, what it is, feminine in there, no way in me. You know what I mean? Like, like I keep it real. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I keep it real. But, like I said, as we get more into this story, um, at one point in time, certain things bothered me. It probably bothered me at that time it was said. But after that, it just went out of my head because I really didn't care anymore. True. Like, I really got a nonchalant attitude. Like, if it doesn't benefit me, I don't care. It can go in one ear and out the other. My wife is not the same. She is basically, she have, I have emotions, you guys, but it's just like, like my family is so tough that <laughs> it's like I was raised with a tough family. So it's like, hey, whatever you say is not going to, hey, it, it might hurt my feelings just a little, but hey, I ain't going to never let you see me sweat. So, I well, I ain't gonna say let me see you see you sweat, but it's just like, hey, I don't care. It's a lot of things as we get into this story. Um, a lot more to come. A lot more to come, like that was probably said that I didn't like, and now it's just like, I don't care. Like, I can be in a room with you and be cordial, but at the same time, I already know how you are. So. It it doesn't affect me either way. So she had to get to this point. Shayna was a per person that what I used to always say. Did you know what I'm saying? Um, Shayna is the person that always wanted to to give in to her family, to give in, to give in, to do things, to um, basically not say her feelings like like hold her feelings in i didn't know I, I, I was raised though um basically whatever was said went like you ain't had no opinion you right had you no, didn't have no opinion. no say so you basically just did whatever you were told to do and that's just what it was and that was a, but it took you a long time right, to get out of it but that's the weakness of my fucking that's how i was raised like to respect your elders and y'all was really like Respect goes both ways, but that was never and, my intention. But see, that that's, that's how I was raised. Right. Respect goes both ways. Right. I don't care how old you are. You're right. going to respect me, and I'm going to respect you. Right. And if you get out of line with me, that's a totally different story. We can handle it either way you want me to handle it. And that goes for anybody. Like, I tell people all the time, my mama don't scare me. Because that's how I was raised. Like, my mama respect me as a woman. She respect me as her daughter, but she respect me as a woman. She's just not going to just tell me no anything and just think I'm going to just take it. Just because she's my mom. Right. That's not right. But I'm not that type that's just going to disrespect my mom. But I can do that to somebody else. Just respect goes both ways for me. And that's just how my attitude has always been. Mm -hmm. But Shayna... She wasn't raised like that. So some things she was just holding and holding and holding and holding. Shayna, what? Few years, what? It's been about a good six years now. You just can't tell Shayna nothing anymore. Mm -hmm. 
You can't tell it to her. The first thing you say to her crazy, she gonna let you know. Before, she ain't gonna just let it ride. Keep bucking in my ear about it. <laughs> bucking in my ear about it. So like, I guess she started seeing how I'm not gonna hold my feelings in because of something you told me. I'm gonna let you know. If I don't like it, I don't like it. And we can handle it either way you want. We could be nice. Oh, I ain't gotta like you. I ain't gotta like you. And I ain't gotta be around you. So that's how I am. We finished? I've been finished. No, but this story gonna continue with, with all what I say. <laughs> that's why I'm giving it to y'all right now. So, cause it, it is everybody just thinking, hey, it's that it didn't die down. But it, it gets a little more juicier as you would think people didn't got over stuff. Right. And this has been real shocking. But come on, too far. We'll say that for next time, y'all. Um, like I said, again, thank y'all for tuning in to the Miles Way vibing out with us this Saturday night. Um hit that bell, ring that bell so you get all the notifications. Any updates, whatever we got on, you'll be the first to know, man. Again, we appreciate y'all for just tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And that's it for the Mosley. Peace, the Mosley. Later.